May is National Museum Month, so what better time to explore the variety of exhibits right now at the Museum of Texas Tech University. At any given time, the museum has a number of permanent and temporary exhibits. One of the temporary ones on display right now is called Through the Needle's Eye, which offers a historic look at embroidery techniques throughout time. The embroidered objects on exhibit represent just a small portion of the over 26,000 objects of clothing and textiles which are part of the collections of the Museum of Texas Tech University. There are also pieces in the embroidery exhibit that are from the museum's own collection of over 5 million objects and specimens. Some particularly interesting pieces are the early 1820s school world needlework samplers and then we have some even earlier pieces that are men's purses that were embroidered. The museum has plenty of things to see for even the most diverse audiences. Right now, through June 1st, the Explorium Gallery, which is a hands-on exhibit hall for children, has an exhibit of insects and skeletons. The Diamond M Gallery at the museum consists of three galleries, including the one dedicated to the works of N.C. Wyatt. And N.C. Wyatt was uh, perhaps the most famous illustrator in American art in the early 20th century, from the turn of the century up into the 30s and 40s. We're very fortunate to have this collection. The newest gallery at the museum opened just two years ago and includes art from this part of the United States. It was just opened two years ago with a wonderful donation from the Talkington family. And uh, the, the funds that they donated to the museum allowed us to renovate this space and have it become a gallery of 20th and 21st century art of the American Southwest. The museum also has a collection from local collectors that is unrivaled anywhere in the region. This is the pre-Columbian collection, and the pre-Columbian, most of the work in here was given by two local collectors, Ray and Lou Dykemper. This collection represents uh, works of art from before Europeans set foot on the Western Hemisphere. And so ranging in date from literally thousands of years ago, maybe 5000 BC, up until 1400 AD. Many of the works in here are made of a variety of materials. They're hard stone things. They're almost like jade. There are ceramics, there are stone works, there are beads, there's uh, costume jewelry, and things of that nature. I, I don't know of any other collection in, within the region or nearby of pre-Columbian art that's available to the public. And so it's a, a unique resource and opportunity for people. The Museum of Texas Tech is open Tuesday through Sunday and is free to the public. This is Lacey Nobles for Texas Tech Today.